It's time for Tuesday Terror here on the Mutual Audio Network. Be sure to leave the lights on while you listen. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. Rusty Quill presents Desjardins Insurance presents Know Your Clients with Desjardins Agent Lena. Lena, your client Monica's son wants to drive her car on weekends. You said... I can easily add him as a secondary driver. But Monica said... Only if he walks a dog. And... Doesn't change the radio presets. That is correct! Switch to a Desjardins insurance agent who gets to know what you really need. Desjardins insurance. Exclusions and conditions apply. With Rogers Wireless Home Internet, you can get a fast connection. Whether home is just outside the city, in a small town a bit further out, a nice spot in the country... Your little paradise on the lake. Or here. I think I'm lost. From the cottage to the country, get fast wireless home internet with Rogers. And wherever your home is, get connected with wireless home internet for just $59.99 a month. That's $400 in savings. Visit rogers.com for details. What keeps your employees happy? Diverse leadership? Access to learning opportunities? Or just free Friday bagels? Putting your people first can improve business profitability just by understanding and measuring their needs, wants, and goals. It's all a matter of economics. With SAP, you can help build a more sustainable workforce for a more successful business. That's economics, and it all comes together with SAP. Rusty Quill presents... We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 17 There Might Be Others Part 3 of 3 Written by Casey Whelan Head out on the road we came in on. Get in the van. We'll take you with us. You can't go back that way. That's where they're headed. We trust them all of a sudden? We need to go. Come with us. We have some place safe. Come on. All right, everyone load up. Stop. You can't get there by car. Follow my lead. Michael? You heard him. Come on. We don't know where they're taking us. It could be a trap. Did you see the look on the other guy's face? I don't think he would react like that if it was. Move. This way. Hey, keep up. <laughs> I'm trying my foot. My... Here, take my shoulder. Uh. You hear that? So they were right. Move in! Down that alley there and on your right. In the building! Move quickly! What the hell is he doing? Oh, uh, Cologne? Why is Come on! Keep going! Don't just keep coming! Move! Uh, uh, it's us I, I can't! Uh, Fernando! I'll hit him! Hey, give me the gun! Are you the man? He's back! Help! It's too late! Oh, shit! Stay back! Ayuda, por favor! We can't! Please! Damn it! Oh, Michael, I can't shoot him! God, I'm sorry! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get into the door at the end of the alley! Go! Now! You heard him! Go, 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 go! As he broke the bottles, we ran into a small building that had already been boarded up. To get inside, we went across wooden planks, bridging a three foot wide trench filled with broken glass and wooden spikes. There was barbed wire surrounding the ridge of the roof line with a few video cameras stationed along the wall. There were blood stains all over the outside, marking the building from previous attacks. Go! Back at the door! Go inside! 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 Go inside
outside and down the steps. Got it. This is where they live? All the way down into the basement, hurry! Oh, sorry, I can't see anything. It's pitch black. Keep quiet! The pitch black room sparked to life by a single red light bulb above a small desk. The room had a dirt floor with wooden planks covering the top. Two by four joists held up the makeshift roof over our heads. It's clear this room had been dug out and added to whatever was previously here. No natural light made its way in from the outside, which made it feel cramped and stuffy. On the table, three monitors glowed with the view from the cameras outside. Here they come! that you broke back there. Just be quiet. I'm sorry about your friend. It's amazing you survived so long where you can't shut up. <laughs> sorry. We sat there in silence watching the glow of the monitors, but there was no change. Minutes turned into hours, as one by one we all drifted asleep. First Pegs, then Michael. I held my rifle tight as the man just stared at the monitor, never moving an inch. For a moment, I thought I saw him tear up, but it was hard to see as my eyelids got heavier and heavier. Eventually, they closed. 10 Insurance presents Know Your Clients. We're here with Desjardins agent Tom. Tom, what did your client, Peter, recently inherit? Uh, an antique cuckoo clock. So you suggested? Additional coverage. Because? It was hand-carved in 1856 from Lindenwood in Germany's Black Forest with impressive mechanical movement and intricate design. Wow. Uh, uh, which means it's? Uh, valuable? Switch to a Desjardins insurance agent who gets to know what you really need. Desjardins insurance. Exclusions and conditions apply. Building new cars requires a lot of expensive new materials. What if you could create a supply chain where old cars were the new materials? Circular economies like this bring profit and sustainability together so they feed each other. It's all a matter of economics. With SAP, you can measure opportunity and create end-to-end -end solutions that benefit both planet and profit. That's economics. And it all comes together with SAP. before he, he gets out and sees, sees us. I made it. Oh, thank God. Thank the Lord. Move over. Make room. You're not the only one that's got to be up here. Skittles. Skittles, now what? Over here. Inside. Hurry. Oh, God. I, I can't get up. Fine, I will drag you in. I think I'm fine. <laughs> did, did the behemoth see you? I don't think so. What did you call it? Be behemoths. That's what I call those. They're nasty mean. So what's it doing now? Coming up here? You might as well leave me. I can't go any further. 
It's... It's wandering around. It can't find us. I don't think we'll be able to make it up the ladder either. No, no, you're right. It can't climb very well. Are you sure? I mean, has it tried to? No, no. no. Not up here. That's comforting. Keep your voice. Keep your voice down. It's okay. They can't hear too good either. But how can you be sure we're safe? How do you know it can't climb? How do you know all this? I've been watching them for a while. We're but, safe. Wait, what if another normal one comes around? I know those can climb. I, I closed the ladder lock behind us when, when we were climbing. S -s Sides, most of the others don't go near the behemoths. They won't come here while he's there. I'm impressed. You know your stuff. He'd, ha he'd have to. I mean, Skittles has survived out here for a long time. I I I've, I've seen a lot. And we'd be dead ducks if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you feeling okay? Hell no. My heart's up in my throat. I taste blood in my mouth. How, how do you know his name? Have you two already met? <laughs> yeah. On our way to find the locators near the arena. He's... he's a little messed up in the head. I doubt he remembers me. That's a bad place. Oh, yeah, we found out. You, you should stay away from there. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You're doing a lot better, aren't you? Yeah, much better. I, I still have your socks. And, and, I, and I got some new shoes, too. <laughs> yeah, that's right, the socks. So, so you know who I am? Not at first. At first when? Outside the base. I saw you and, and ran. I thought you might be the, the bad people, but you're, you're, not, you're not so bad. I remember him, too. Me? I've, I've never met you before. No, no, this is Kalani. He wasn't with us before. That, that was Datu. Oh? It, it, it was? I, 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 thought, I thought I knew you. You couldn't have. Kalani, Kalani was already at the arena. I guess I, I must have forgot who you were. See what I mean? A few screws loose still. Okay, hold on. So what were you doing at the base? Me? I, I was getting more of these. The MREs? You want one? I'd prefer water if you got it. I do. Here. So you got into the cage? With the MREs? You went to get food there? No. I, I was looking for a gun. S -s -s See, mine is broken. Didn't find a new one, but I, I, I found the box that said meals on it. Broke open the cage and ate two. Hadn't ate that much for a long time. I could carry just one box up here. Two meals left. T -t 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 Today I was... I was going back for more and saw you. We thought the big one, the behemoth, got into them. There were boxes and, and packages torn open, scattered everywhere. You sure made a mess. I didn't. Oh, 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 oh no. I, I shouldn't have ate them right there. Behemoths can't see, but, but, they, but they can smell. I, I showed them where the meal was. No, there was no, another no, pallet no, of boxes. No, it's no. all right. Those are still okay. And we can give you one of our boxes. So they're eating our food now. One. <laughs> They'll eat anything. Even each other. Even each other, if they have to. I've seen it. I'm sorry. I was foolish. Uh, you got any more water? That was perfect. Hey, hey, don't drink all his supply. Come on, he was nice enough to give you those. I'll find more. It's okay. So what else do you have in here? Vodka? Some rum? <laughs> Whatever. Hey, why do we need to leave him a box? He's coming back with us to the tower, right? Isn't he? No, 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 not, 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 not no, there. Calm down, calm down. Easy, just relax. We're not going to take you anywhere. 
No, really, we're not. No, you, you can stay here. I don't think he trusts people. He's doing fine out here on his own. Why would we ruin that? Because he has information, experience we could really use. We've learned more from him today than we have on our own. He's lived among them and survived. We can't force him to come with us. I'm right here, you know. Yeah. Sorry. See? We're already treating him like a thing. He's a person. Well, aren't you the great humanitarian all of a sudden? A few seconds ago, I had to drag your ass up here and risk my neck for you, and so did he. We need to respect that. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him, and if he wants to stay, he stays. Agreed. He's a hell of a guy. But he has useful information. Stuff he knows might save lives. Think about that. Well, either way, it looks like we're not going anywhere for a while. It's just sitting down there. And we don't have to take him with us if we ask him what he knows here. Hey, you got your journal? I left mine in the car. Oh, so did I. You, you, you need something to write down. Here. Paper. You got a pen? Pencil? That'll work. Okay, Skittles. What's your name? Skittles? You, you just said it. No, before that. Before what? The information stream was just flowing. Whatever. So, the behemoths. So how do you know they can't climb? I saw one. Try to, try to grab a cat that was on top of a dump truck. He, he, he couldn't get up. The, the cat got away. Okay, and where? Uh, I, I, I don't know where the cat went. He, he ran away. No, the truck! I don't know that either, but, but I remember a, a, an ice cream place. It smelled very, very bad, though, so I, I, I didn't go near there anymore. It, it, didn't, it didn't smell chocolate. It didn't... I don't, I don't, it was bad. It was... He told me everything he could remember. His encounters with the various other forms out there. Through the mess of memories, I learned new little bits of information. The regular ones, or normals, he described as... <laughs> They're really fast and strong, but but they stay in big groups and, and just look look for eating all day and at night. He had only encountered one runner, apparently. It was a super fast day. That's what I call those. Oh, I could not run, so I had to hide. Never, never found me. I stayed in a trash can all night. His experiences gave us little clues. Things like... You better not go near the book places or the doctors. Those, those have the worst. The brains, they're, they're the worst. I can't get away from those or hide. Better go around. No, I think I saw new ones too. What, new ones? New to me. So you just haven't seen these before? The jumping kind? No, no, not those. I haven't seen those in a while. I think they're all gone. Yeah. Yeah, write those down, too. I forgot those. Okay, so how long ago did you see these new ones? Today. No way! Where? On top of the roof. They, they were very, very small. I think I'll call them little ones. Uh, uh, the roof at the base? Today? The same. They could have been just small normals. I don't think so. They, they, they moved funny. It, it was a long way away. Okay, well, then it could have been the same old run-of-the-mill biter. I still wrote it down. Is that it? Yes. No, no, no. Brain are not the worst. I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm so sorry. Tell me. Tell me, what did you remember? His eyes went wide and his hands shook slightly as his fist clenched tight, swallowing whatever was in his throat. The one with the markings. You only see him once. And then... You're dead. Yeah, you told me about him before, but... Wait, you meant colored markings? The one with tattoos? Markings. Have you seen him again? The second time. Only from a distance, never close. That's why I said not to go there, but... But you didn't listen. But you saw him once, up close. 
How did you get away? He, he was busy killing all my friends before he called regulars to help. We've seen the one with tattoos. Well, I haven't, but Bert, Michael, and Saul did. Is that the same? I, I, I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I saw him too, in the arena. There was one, but I was in and out a lot. I was pretty sick. Maybe that's him. It was dark, it was hard to tell. Is that the one that lived there? I, 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 I don't know. Come on, tell me what you know. You, you've what seen else? it. You've seen Where did it come from? What, what, what can he do? Is this the same guy? I, I, I don't where, know. Where did he come from? Where was the first place you saw him? Yeah. I mean, I, 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 did, does he have super strength? I, I, what does he do? What is this he, the same one? How is he different from everybody else? I, I, did he get there from I, here? I, 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 I don't know! Okay, okay, okay. Relax. It's all right. Sorry. Why don't you put the paper away, Angel? Hey, you're the one that wanted the information. And now we have it. He's told us what he knows. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay, Skittles. We're not going to ask you anything more. Any more what? <laughs> Nothing. Still out there? It's not going anywhere. It's got our scent. Oh, how wonderful. So it's going to stay down there and wait us out. So, if you want to get out of here, we only have one option. Oh. And what's that? We're gonna have to kill it. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. Desjardins Insurance presents Know Your Clients. We're here with Desjardins agent Tom. Tom, what did your client, Peter, recently inherit? Uh, an antique cuckoo clock. So you suggested? Additional coverage. Because? It was hand-carved in 1856 from Lindenwood in Germany's Black Forest with impressive mechanical movement and intricate design. Wow. Uh, uh, which means it's? Uh, valuable? Switch to a Desjardins insurance agent who gets to know what you really need. Desjardins Insurance. Exclusions and conditions apply. What keeps your employees happy? Diverse leadership? Access to learning opportunities? Or just free Friday bagels? Putting your people first can improve business profitability just by understanding and measuring their needs, wants, and goals. It's all a matter of economics. With SAP, you can help build a more sustainable workforce for a more successful business. That's economics. And it all comes together with SAP. Starring Jim Gleason, Shane Salk, Nate Gies, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Blair Byhauer, Scott Marvin, Tammy Klein, Kevin Flood, Otto Sturk, Omar Leva, and Bob Bergen as Skittles. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was written and directed by K.C. Wayland. Produced by Grayson Stone, Shane Salk, and K.C. Wayland. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions. Happy Holidays from all of us here at the Mutual Audio Network.